gals, um, probably mostly gals considering this is a nail art video, a nail art video. But um, my name is Jamaria. This is kind of like a pre-video to the video that you're about to see that you clicked on and you're like, oh, what the heck, what's going on? Um, I just kind of wanted to introduce myself, um, being this is the very first video I'm posting on my channel. Um, I wanted to, you know, kind of introduce who I am. Um, I wanted to be as natural as possible. That's why I didn't, you know, do my hair or put on makeup. You know, this is me. Uh, I'm not really doing this for popularity or money or anything. I just want to share my creativity because I love doing my nails so much that I figured why not just post like tutorials or, you know, show you the way that I do them. Kind of um, my cheap tricks of the trade, if you will. Um, so the video that you're about to see after uh, I stop talking is a black and white um, tiger, not zebra, tiger print. It is one of the very first um, pictures or and picture and video that I posted on my Instagram, Jam Jam Nail Designs, um, that I kind of started this summer because I wanted to share my creations. Um, so um, that's the tutorial that you're about to see. Um, and I just hope you enjoy because I'm, I'm not really, you know, doing this. There's so many other nail art videos that you can see. And, um, but I'm glad that I'm appreciative that you, you stopped and actually are watching this to see my uh, tutorial. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you stay along for the ride. Um, I'll be posting my videos um, whenever I can. And I'll just, and, you know, I'm doing this for fun. So um, I just wanted to be me. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so, hi. This is the current state of my nails. Um, like I mentioned before in the pre-video, I have um, pink and purple. I did a pink and purple gradient um, with the accented glitter nail. For the first couple of videos, I'm just gonna show you the process of me, um, like before, and then the after of um, how I clean and file and shape my nails. Because um, we are team natural all over here. <laughs> okay. Um, so for the first couple of videos, you'll see that. But then as I get, you know, more and more videos, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to come in with um, no polish on, kind of having the base work already done. So this is the state of my nails now. So this is my first video. So um, this is my right hand. And for the most part, the nails on this hand grow to a good length. Um, I don't have a specific nail care routine. Um, it's just to eat healthy, drink water, and I keep them nice and moisturized. That's kind of it. Um, so you can see that they grow a significant amount. Same thing for this. This is my left hand. They grow very different than my right hand as you can see I broke this index finger nail so it's obviously not as long so it's still short um, I don't like to cut my nails unless I really want to start all the way over um, as you can see this one's pretty long as well too sorry my hands are kind of dry I just finished washing them um, so like I explained before I'm going to do the black and white um, sorry the camera keeps focusing and focusing I need to just switch the focus but um what else um I think that's kind of it so you can kind of see the state of my nails now and um I don't know what else to say about my nails over the uh time you'll probably see I'll have different nails break and because I am not a you know um girly girl where well, I can just you know have my nails grow and not have them break I do random things all the time and they break so unfortunately that's just how it is it doesn't mean it's not a big deal for me but it does make for nail art um, very interesting because I'm constantly doing them on long and then short nails and then short nails and then long nails so um, so let's keep watching and I'll show you how I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna walk you through everything I use and we're gonna get this focus on this camera to work because it's so, um, it's weird and I know that's annoying. So I'll stop moving my hands. Okay, so um, let's get started. Okay, so for um, me to take off my polish, I use, sometimes you can use nail polish remover if you use 
um, regular nail polish however I have ran out of base coat uh, which I'll explain more later but I had to use a gel base coat <laughs> as a base coat which is kind of weird I've, I've, I've mixed them but um, you'll see how the how I do the process but um, I had to use gel because I ran out of base coat and I always like to have a base coat so for me to remove my nails I use doo -doo, coming in the shot this is professional soak off gel and all nail coatings um, I guess you could use it for kind of um, anything especially glitter nails actually I'll turn it this way so it's really easy for you to see okay I've got it at Walmart um, I think I had a pack of two for like 10 bucks it's really easy to find so I use this I soak it off now I do it one nail at a time because I don't want to waste this stuff I pay money for this stuff so I put cap size full and I start with soaking a nail or two we can put a cotton pad on the bottom if you don't want it to you know damage any kind of surface so we'll go ahead and start with my index finger now this is gonna take a while um, so if I learn to um, time-lapse you'll see a time-lapse accompanied by some cool music if I did not learn how to time-lapse then you're going to see um, a quick kind of cut from now until you know I've I done um, soaking all of my nails so it doesn't take long um, you just soak and afterwards you want to have some cotton pads near or some cotton balls whichever you prefer I have both I've been using more of these cotton pads because that's what I have more of so I'm going to show you this nail and then we're going to um, speed through the process okay so we're soaking a little bit more so um, I guess I can explain why I have a base coat so I had it regular nail polish base coat however I ran out of the regular nail polish base coat and it is recommended that when you're applying nail polish to have a base coat so the only base coat I had was gel and you'll see me applying the gel as a base coat for this next design as well okay so soak that and then basically all you're gonna do that's two let's get one see how it makes my nail like really dry it makes it so much easier to come up see it's, it's easy to soak off okay So you want to get all in the next to the cuticle to remove all of the nail polish see now you have a very dry nail but all the polish is gone so I'm going to do that for all 10 fingers and I will be back got all the nail polish off um, it was a pretty design um, but it started to chip so it had to go so um, after I did the sorry I'll stop moving so much the soak um, for all nails I went over with some good old-fashioned nail polish remover um, I have the same one the onyx um, it's just straight up nail polish remover so I can't really see it because of the sticker but that. 
focus. Wow, it went out of focus. Okay, there it is. So, I'm going to file it and then we're going to moisturize because they are looking dry and chapped and dirty. So, I'll try to um, get this on camera as best I can. And, um, like I said before, if you've seen the time lapse, then I learned the time lapse. <laughs> if not, then we'll just cut to me uh, saying, all right, let's go, let's paint. <laughs> Okay. Um, before I go, actually, I'm going to show you what I use. I have a regular nail filer. This is mm, Revlon. Um, what else? Um, that's legit it. <laughs> so I'm going to file these. All right. Okay. Okay, so I've sh sh shaped, I was going to say shiled, I tried to say filed and shaped at the same time. So I shaped them to my liking, I'm still mad at this one though, but oh, you will see over the weeks as it grows back, um, and I'll try not to break another one. Um, um, so what I do to moisturize is I have um, this lovely, it's almost gone, I need to get some more, it is Nivea. Um, face, body, hands, moisturizing cream. Um, I bought it specifically for my nails because it, it has um, jojoba oil and vitamin E for incredibly soft skin. So it really, and this is what I put on my nails during the weeks so it, um, so they stay moisturized. So that's what I like to put on my nails. As you can see, I have a little left. So you just grab it and then I just work it into my my nails. Get the nail beds around the nails, the cuticles everywhere. Bring some life. Sorry about that. Some life and moisture back into these nails that you just dried out with nail polish remover and um, water perhaps I don't know if you washed your hands before so you really just really want to work it into nail beds and your cuticles and of course your hands you want soft hands okay switch over here and you just work it as you can see it is just bringing so much life and moisture back into my hands. Sorry if you see specks of glitter. I have glitter on this desk that's going to be there forever. So, mm -hmm. so like I said, it goes on your skin, of course, but it also is going to go on your nail beds and into the cuticles. You want to get some moisture going. So you have to find what works for you. For this, this works for me. It's a nice little kind of massage as well too. Keep pushing it, just move it out of the way. Um, so, in case you missed it, it is Nivea's Soft Face Body Hands Moisturizing Cream. Okay. I'm just gonna rub those in a little bit more. Sorry about the camera there. Okay. There we go. Beautiful foundation to start working. I, I have um, some dirt in the nails that I need to get. But here we are. Nice hands, moisturized. And focus. Okay. We are ready for polish okay so I kind of went back washed my hands um, there was some dirt under my nails that I wanted to get and then re put on some more um, moisturizing as well so I'm going to go through everything that I use I'll explain more in depth as I'm using that product 
but I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through everything right now so for the base coat I have this top and base coat gel um, this doesn't want to focus right now there we go um, so it is obviously for gel but like I mentioned before I ran out of base coat so I've been using the base coat in here and it looks like this so this is the base coat that I'm going to be using for the top coat I'm still using nail polish top coat I have a insta dry from Sally Henson top coat that I use um, it's a red bottle but it is clear it goes on clear okay um, for the white I am using wet and wild French white creme and it still doesn't want to focus hopefully you can see it there it is beautiful for the um, black I am using clean colors uh, what is it metallic black I believe oh there it is um, metallic black that's what I'm using for the hollow um, top coat now I am a fan of simply neological so if you hear me say hollow, um, just know that's where I got it from. Um, I am a hollow sexual, okay? So <laughs> I have Wet n Wild um, Kaleidoscope, I believe it's called. Yes, Kaleidoscope. Um, and for the Tiger Stripes, I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner. <laughs> yes, you're probably like, what in the world is she doing? But I will explain as I use it, okay? The top coat has to be cured, so I have a UV lamp off to the side. And um, I have some embellishments if I choose to use these sparkles. Okay? Alright, so let's get started. So first we're going to start with a base coat. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see, see, see okay so like I mentioned before my base coat is this gel polish base coat so it has to be cured under a UV light um, so if you don't have one of those um, you should probably buy you know that when you get your, your gel polish so we're going to um, just let it focus and then we're going to apply it um, be sure not to get it on your your cuticles and just stay on the nail bed okay do a nice thin coat and then we're going to too much polish there wrap the tip okay so I'm going to um, do this for all the nails as you can see keep them to the side um, don't get the tip um, and then I'm going to uh, cure it and this LED light um, this polish does not dry unless you have that light so uh, I'm gonna do that to all my nails you're gonna see me go into the um, the UV light and then I will come back um, for you okay okay so now that we have our base coat on now we're going to move on to the base colors. Now based on my picture, um, we're doing um, a glitter nail, a black, um, I think black is just, yeah, we actually are doing a black nail and a um, some white nails. So for the thumb, I'm going to paint white because that is going to be fingerprinted. Um, the thumb, the index, 
and the pinky will have stripes the middle will have the hollow sparkles and the index finger or not the index I'm sorry the ring finger will have um, the other cheetah print I believe it was um, so let's go ahead and paint on our base colors for each nail Okay, so now for the fun part. So I'm going to explain what I meant earlier when I was talking about liquid eyeliner. Um, so this is, in fact, um, it was liquid eyeliner. Um, so you know when you use up all of your liquid eyeliner. <laughs> so surprisingly, I found that the liquid eyeliners work perfectly for um what do you call it freaking um it's a striper brush that's what i was getting at um so what i did i placed black well i washed it and i placed black nail polish in here um, I don't think it's the same one as what I put on my hand now, but it's it's similar. It's black. Um, so, I mean, liquid eyeliner is already black, so I thought black would be perfect. Um, you could probably find some other liquid eyeliners, and they would do other colors. But I strategically placed black nail polish in this one. Now, this is going to give me my perfect tiger stripe. So on the white nails, we're going to do a tiger stripe and on the ring finger, we're going to do a cheetah print, which is going to be done in white polish with this dotting tool. Um, they're double ended. We're not going to use that end. We're going to use um, this end, this really small petite end to give us um, the pattern that we're really looking for. So we're going to do, um, I'm going to show you both of those right now before I speed up and then the middle finger we're just going to um, dab some um, hollow polish so let's start with the tiger stripe so I'm going to start on the right hand so you can see I use with my dominant hand I'm sorry my, my left hand okay so what we gonna do is take the eyeliner start at the bottom and you're going to, let's get even a little closer. Let's get super close. Okay. Oh yes, let's go. Even, in, as more as you can. As much as you can. That's pretty good. Okay, so you're going to start, sorry about the edge there. There we go. Let's re-dip it. You're gonna start at the bottom. And we'll, getting sticky and thick and you're going to start on the cuticle side and you're going to press down and just fling toward the center like so okay re-dip and you're going to stagger these so on the opposite side go a little higher and then press down and then flick it's not going to be perfect the first time and actually perfection is um, not optimal here just because you want it to look as authentic as possible. So here we're going to go over and then we're going to press down, flick up, just like so. And you're going to keep doing that for each white nail. go one more for this one down like up just like that easy easy as can be so you're gonna do that for all the white nails okay 
Now for the cheetah print, you're going to take some white polish. And I didn't bring my index card that I always get. Um, we can use a post-it note piece of paper. Um, you're going to, I guess we can come up a little bit now. Um, you're going to dab some white polish onto a surface there. Take your dotting tool, dip it in, and then you're going to do small circular circles that are kind of um, half circles, I guess. Leaving some gap in the middle to add bigger blobs of circles. With that and then do another C here. Can you see? I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well. Okay. Let's move a little better towards this way. Do another C here. So you can see which kind of motion that I'm going in. Small C's, big C's, little C's. We do one more C up top. And I ran out of white polish there. Okay. And then you're gonna go in and then just make some big white blobs. The glare is definitely not helping there. Put one here at the tip. Put one here towards the cuticle. And we could probably put one more. Sorry, the camera's moving. Put one more kind of trailing into the between here okay um, actually let's just fill in most of the gaps here and we can put like more towards the tip here okay that's the look I was going for okay so you got your tiny stripe and you got that so you're going to repeat that um, this for all the white nails and then you're going to repeat this for the other um, black on your ring finger so let's me do that Okay, so we just have cleanup to do and then we can um, do a top coat and then we'll be done with this design. So I'm gonna take some um, nail polish remover, not the soak off, this is just straight nail polish remover, pour some in the, the cap. I use the cap a lot, you can't tell. Just a little bit in the cap. And then I take um, just a Q-tip. And clean up where I need to clean up the thumbs pretty good there's a little leakage on this side um, I've yet to get a cleanup brush so I'm trying to invest in one of those but for the um, most part the q-tip does a good job so I'm gonna clean up the edges okay so now I'm going to put on a top coat um, I'm not doing a gel top coat um, just because I want to save my gel polish but I just had to use it because I don't have a base coat so for my top coat I'm using Sally Hansen's instant dry um, it's in a red bottle but it is clear as you'll see in a minute um, it dries pretty quick but um, it takes a couple of 
um, hours for it to really soak through the before it's completely completely dry so when you first put it on in a 60 to 2 minutes 60 seconds to 2 minutes it'll be really super dry but um, you can still smudge your nail is what I'm saying um, so I'm going to put on the top coat and then I'll come back um, with the final result and the ending um, look Okay, so this is the final look. Um, it is, it has been a day since I've worn this, since I, um, you know, I went out with it on. Um, I decided to record the ending result a day after. Um, so you can see that it is holding up well. Some kind of um, things, if I had to do it over, um, I would not do the three clusters on the ring or the middle finger on this hand and just stick to the single embellishment there I think that looks way better um, I think everything else came out exactly how I liked it um, so that's a plus for me um, so if you like this design you know just kind of tell me um, um, in the comments and um, if you have any questions or suggestions or um, recommendations anything at all please put them in the comments um, or hit me up on Instagram at jam jam nail designs either way um, I'll be um, as um, supportive as I can and um, to responding to people but this is the end result so it has lasted a day <laughs> so um, we are good so I hope you guys like it and I hope that the, um, the kind of instructions were easy to follow along to all right okay so that is it i love it and i am out